Welcome back, Seth Bling here, and I've got Dinnerbone with me. Hey, Dinnerbone. Hello. All right, so this is a very special video. Dinnerbone has crafted a unique binary just for me of Minecraft, and I'm the very first person to test the Twitch one-click live stream integration. So if I go to my options, we have these broadcast settings, all these compression and bandwidth and all this stuff. Um, in my controls, there's a bunch of settings down here for different keys under streaming, F7 equals F6. And so if I press that F6 key, it should bring up the live stream. So hopefully in the video it shows up uh, in the upper right hand corner, there's, uh, there's a record button, or sorry, record icon uh, that's, that indicates that I am streaming. And I am actually live streaming now to my Twitch page. I've been streaming for a little bit, testing everything out with Dinnerbone. Uh, what do you think, Tinnerbone? Is it, everything working pretty much okay? <laughs> yeah, I, we found a couple of bugs so far. I've made a little list, but yeah. uh, I'm really impressed. It hasn't crashed too badly. Yeah, so uh, so I've been streaming for a little bit. I think I had like a couple thousand viewers on before <laughs> before I shut down the stream to record the video. So um, it should show the number of viewers, um, although that can take a little bit of time to update. So I guess while we're waiting for that, I can go over some of the options that are in here. It's uh, it's pretty cool. There's quite a bit. Um, so if we go back to those controls, we'll see there's three things you can do. There's uh, start and stop the stream. That's defaults to F6. Pause and unpause the stream. That's F7. Show stream commercials defaults to F8. Uh, there seems to be some sort of bug where the, the commercials are not working. So I'm sure Dinnerbone will look into that, though. But that, yeah, just, that, that, that doesn't really impact the functionality that majorly. You can always go to your dashboard. Oh, I have seven viewers. <laughs> uh, it's showing 1,200 on my on my Twitch dashboard. I, I think it's it'll shoot up in a minute here. Yeah. Um, but the the pause and unpause stream button does work. Uh, you won't be able to see what it does when I do it here, but my viewers will be able to see. <laughs> um, it basically plays a little Twitch logo, and it mutes my microphone and the system sound and everything. Uh, so, so right now, uh, it's playing, my viewers can hear my voice, they can also hear the in-game sound, so if I you know, open chest, they can hear that. They can hear Dinnerbone as he says stuff. Yay! And, uh, and so it's actually capturing the system sound as well. So Skype and any music player and everything, so that's pretty good. I can't overlay a, like, a face cam or anything, there's just no way to do that yet. I don't know if you have any comments on whether that might be coming down the road. We are looking into it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, good to hear. Um, and so let's see, what else is there? There's there's quite a few options. So if I go to the broadcast settings, <clears throat> there's the normal kind of uh, controls for uh, bandwidth and everything. Uh, if you want to if you want to change the quality, frame rate, whatever, uh, you have to restart the stream. So just press F6 twice, and that's all there is to it. What does the send metadata button do? Uh, basically, this is a new feature Twitch are working on where uh, the game will tell Twitch about like when you're in combat or if you've got achievements and stuff. And later on, you'll be able to see this as you go through a video. I see. Uh, you'll be able to see, like, oh, this video, this is the one where I got this achievement or I, I fought this guy. Okay, so that's more or less just going to come come down the road. Yeah. Um, let's see, there's mic volume slider and system volume slider. So that's really cool. Uh, you can balance your microphone versus the game and versus, you know, Skype. So if I want to, like, drown out Tinnerbone, I can... No, no. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of bug with this, but I'm sure it'll get fixed by the time it gets released. Uh, compression mm -hmm. is uh, some sort of compression doodad. I, I think higher compression means like higher quality compression or something? I'm not exactly yeah, sure. Yeah, higher compression is higher quality, but it's much more expensive on your computer. Yeah. OK, Twitch chat settings. Uh, this is this is pretty cool. You can get the Twitch chat in the game. Now, I'm sure that my viewers on the stream are going to only provide useful feedback on the video or on the, on the live stream and relevant information. Uh, hmm. People are saying they can't hear you, so. There might yeah, be. Yeah, that was the microphone bug. Uh, the bug. Well, let me try doing this. I don't know. It's not really that important, I guess. That the mm. I'm sure they can hear you on my video. So, um, all right, Twitch chat settings. Uh, so I can go ahead and enable this. 
and it'll actually pull the chat from my Twitch page, and <laughs> and then people can chat. Now it's kind of cool, actually. You can use the signal sign code, and uh, we saw there was a cyan comment in the chat, uh, but those work. There's some random text there. Uh, I'm sure somebody will do some very colorful text pretty soon. Uh, although, yeah, there's Hey Mom. So that guy got a shout out to his mom. That's pretty cool. Bye, Arcus. Well, he already left. So, uh, if I chat in this mode, it doesn't go to my Twitch page. It just goes to the, to, just to the server. So, uh, if I want to actually, uh, if I want to actually, chat to the to the Twitch stream, I have to go to the to the web page. Um, kind of cool is you can click on a user's name, and it gives you options to you know timeout or ban them. You can promote to moderator. You can unban, etc. So. Uh, but yeah, those are some really cool options. I like that a lot. People are complaining about quality. Um, actually, the quality does look kind of bad from <laughs> from my stream. I don't know. Maybe my bandwidth just got wrecked or something. But uh, I think it's when you changed the quality earlier. But I didn't somehow restart. Somehow that actually took effect, even though it shouldn't have. Um, it's at max quality, and I didn't restart the stream. So I mm. don't know. I guess maybe something to work out. <laughs> we're doing all this yeah, live. We're, we're finding some interesting stuff. Uh, oh, that's, whoa, that's weird. Slash me. Did slash oh, yeah, me Slash words? me comes in italics. Oh, that's cool. From the, from the Twitch page. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I see. Um, anyway, okay. So I'm going to turn. So there's actually some, some interesting stuff you can do there. So uh, you can filter it so that all viewers chat comes through. You can filter it so just subscribers come through or just moderators. So I'm sure we'll see Nightbot, <laughs> which is my moderator bot, um, ban someone pretty soon here. But <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, you can enable this always even. Yeah, there's Nightbot. Yeah, he's warning someone. But uh, you were saying maybe we'll get a way to... Oh yeah, there's Michael. <laughs> so, and Dinnerbone. Uh, you were saying maybe some sometime we'll get a way to filter out individual users so that Nightbot won't. Well, yeah, I'll probably add like an. I want to hold you to that. Click <laughs> menu. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, anyway, let's disable this so it's not spamming my chat. What else is there? Is that pretty much? Um, I guess that's it. Yeah, the broadcast server list gives you a list of all the servers you can broadcast to, and it uh, does a bandwidth test. So you can actually test what the bandwidth is. Uh, the the live streaming is not really affecting my performance at all, my uh, frame rate or anything. Uh, recording is affecting it a little bit. So if my frame rate is not 30 in the video, that's why uh, recently that's just been the case. My frame rate's kind of mm -hmm. dropped a bit. So not any fault of the streaming software. Uh, did I miss anything? Is there anything I... Um, I think that's mostly it. You can also stream at the title screen and... Other worlds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I go to the title screen and I, I can switch worlds and everything, it'll it'll still stream mm -hmm. and everything. Uh, Dinnerbone says he did get rid of the message that when you sometimes there was a message when you connected to a server that would display the IP, but uh, that is apparently does not display the IP anymore. So that's pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about uh, accidentally leaking the IP to the Minecraft server. Not that anyone would ever do that on live stream ever. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Uh, it seems like we hit most of the major points. The broadcast settings one more time. Seems like we're good. Uh, so very cool. This is not available for download just yet. Uh, it should be out sometime this week, according to Mojang. Does that sound right? Yeah, hopefully Thursday. Uh, not going to say for final, but hopefully. <laughs> cool. Well, definitely some awesome features. I think mm -hmm. a lot of people are looking forward to this a lot. All right. Well, thanks, thanks, Cinnamon, for joining me for the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.